Welcome to sunny Seattle, home to premier technology partner Chasm. I'm James, and today we're going to see what's happening at the Chasm Lab. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, well, here we are at the Chasm Lab. I'm here today with fellow Chasmite Sean. How are you doing, Sean? I'm doing great, James. Good to see you. Likewise, likewise. What are you working on today? So today I'm playing around with the new Siemens Industrial Thin Client. They released a new plugin that directly connects the touch panel to WinCC Open Architecture. I'm pretty excited about it because it makes it super easy for our customers to connect a client. Uh, and you know, I'm going to test it out and see how see how quick and easy it is to set up. Really cool. Do you have a moment to show us? Of course. All right, let's go yeah, check let's it out. Let's do it. Okay, so before we get started, Sean, what is a thin client? Good question, James. A thin client's pretty much a dummy terminal that doesn't have an operating system, nothing really to maintain. So they're really good for our customers because they have low maintenance and if they fail, you can just plug them in and they'll start right up. That's one of the benefits of having central applications on say like a SCADA server. Okay, really cool, thank you. Well, let's get started. So James, I'm gonna do two things. One, I'm gonna set up the server and start an application. And then the second one's gonna be configuring the actual thin client. So the first thing that I need to do is log into the WinCCOA server and open a command line prompt and type in IP config. All I'm doing here is getting the IP address of the server. After I do that, the next thing that I want to do is click the start menu. I'm going to find the WinCCOA console and I'm going to pick my project that I want to launch. I'm going to put that into runtime to make sure that I have an application up and running. And that is uh, exactly what I'm going to show on the thin client. So green means good. Once everything's up and running, I should get a login screen here on the WinCCOA application. I'm gonna type in the default username and password here, which is uh, root. Go ahead and click OK, and my application should be up and running. All right, James, so first thing, let's go ahead and get logged into the thing client. Hit the flyout box in the top right corner. You'll see a gear icon there. Click that, hit configuration, and then log into the device. Okay, great. So there's a lot of different boxes here for configuration, but the two we're gonna focus on is the network. So let's go ahead and click that. And then we'll hit a, a connection in, in a bit. So we wanna give this IP, uh, this device an IP address so it's on the same network. So let's make that uh, 192.168.0.13. Okay, and then click connections. And let's click new and hit the drop down box and we should see something that says WinCC Open Architecture or OA. There it is. All right, give the connection a name. Let's call it Chasm. And description, let's call it WinCC OA. And then let's put the server IP address in there and that is 192. Dot one six eight dot zero dot one zero one. Okay, and from here it hit OK, and then let's test that connection. So highlight it, and there's a button that says test. The server cannot be reached. All right, so let's go ahead and try something here really quick. Um, go ahead and click save. And James, you want to take over the camera really quick? You can tap dance if you'd like. Got it. What I'm doing now is I'm logging into the server to see if I can ping that device. Okay. We're good, we can see it. Let me go ahead and log in here. And let's verify. We do not want to reboot. Wrong button. Zero dot thirteen. Okay. Well, we're gonna exit there and we're gonna give this a try. Okay. 
Okay, so simple as that. We actually had a connection, probably just needed a second for the uh, computers to see each other on the network. And uh, I verified over here that we could ping it and see it. And so as simple as that, now we have a dummy terminal that's reading a central application over on the WinCCOA server. So pretty neat. And that's, that's pretty much it for the entire application. All right, Sean, thanks for taking the time to show us those cool features. And you, thanks for joining us here at the Chasm Lab. I'm James, and I hope to see you next time.